Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to post videos and images using Facebook instant experience. So on my desktop, I've got this folder and inside this folder, I've got two videos. They're both MP4 files and then I've got four pictures and I want to combine all of this content into a single post and post that on Facebook. And that is called a Facebook instant experience. So let's close this and let me show you how to do this. I'll open up the web browser and I'm on my Facebook page here right now. If I scroll down to here, you'll see an example I've done before. So if I click on it, you'll see that there's a video playing here. And then you've got these images that you can slide across and view them. And you've got another video playing down here. And if you scroll down, you've got another picture. Now this content will only display on mobile devices. Although I've created it on my desktop, uh, on my desktop computer, which is what I'm going to show you today, the actual um, content will only display on mobiles. Why Facebook has done that, I'm not quite sure, but that's just the way it works at present. I assume maybe they've got plans to uh, expand this out to desktop versions, hopefully at some point. But let's create this for our mobile device. One thing to note is on the very last image, if you was on, if you was looking at this on your mobile phone, you can actually swipe up. And when you swipe up, this particular instance or this particular sequence will take you to the tutorial where you can go and make this particular uh, video sequence. I've shown you how to do this in um, on YouTube. So we're going to make something similar similar to this, but using some different content. So let's go to the top here and click write post. Write a post. We'll click inside here. And we'll click on photo and video here. When we click on photo and video, you can create galleries, you can do all these different things, but we want to focus on this last one. Create an instant experience. You can now tell more, tell a more immersive, immersive story by combining images and videos. So let's click on that. And when I click on that, I'll get an option, this plus sign here. If I click here, I can see the original one I created before. So I don't want to use that one. I could reuse it again, but I want to show you how to make your own one. It's called Blender 2.8 Text and Particle Effects. That's, what, that's actually the name of it. So let's click on the plus sign here. And then it will take me into this interface. And the first thing I'm going to do is click on add component. But really, before I, before I do that, I should give this instance experience a title here. Because it's called untitled instant. And we don't want that. So we're going to call it Blender. In this example, I'm going to call it Blender 2.8. Uh, <clears throat> so I'm going to call it Blender 2.8 Cinematic Text and Particles because that is actually what the video tutorial is called on YouTube or something very similar. I'm going to click on Add Component. It's going to give me options. I can add buttons, I can add carousel, photos, videos, shop locator, text block or header. Today I'm going to focus on these three here. These three. And maybe in subsequent tutorials we'll focus on using some of these other objects. But let's make it nice and easy for you to understand. So the first thing I want to do is add a video. So I'm going to click video and I'm going to click OK. And that gives me an option to upload a video. So I'm going to click upload here, upload video, and I'm going to select one. So I'm going to go to my desktop. I'm going to select this particular video, the first one. I'm going to click upload and it's going to start to upload. While that's uploading, I can start continuing doing other things. So I'm going to click add component and I'm going to click on carousel here, carousel. I'm going to click OK. And now it's asking me for image one. So I'll click upload and I'm going to actually select, let's see, picture one here, picture one. And I'm going to click open. And while that one's uploading, I'm going to click picture two here and click upload and select picture two. And then I'm going to make a third one, click the plus sign. And I'll click on this third one and click upload. And I'll click on the third one and click open. Now you can add URLs here, destination options. So if these were like three different products, can you see in here they're sliding across now? So if these images were of, I don't know, maybe your trainers, like if you're a shoe shop or something, or if um, if there's some sort of product or something, or maybe the link to tutorials or anything, you can actually add a, a link in here. But I'm going to show you how to do that on the very last step, the way that I did it previously. So here you can see the video. Here you can see there's still images that people can just slide across and have a look at the nice little thumbnails. I'm going to scroll down and click Add Component. And I'm going to pick Video again and click OK. Now I get an option to upload another video. So let's click Upload Video. I'm going to select the second video and click Open. And that's just basically a little demo of this being built in Blender. It's just a little basic example. While that's uploading, let's click Add Component. And I'm going to click Image again and click OK. And then I'll select uh, Upload Photo here. And I'm going to click on this one, Picture 00, this, this very first one here, and click Open. And that's going to upload. And now I've got a video here that's just still uploading, so it's taking a bit of time. Uh, but in theory, then I should have a video at the top 
I should have some image sliders like this. I'll have another video here, and then I've got this last video at the bottom. Right, and here you can see there's an extra video. It's basically like the top one, but it's showing it directly in Blender here, you can see. So for this last picture, I want to be able to add a link to it. So what I'll do is go to the video tutorial on YouTube. I'm going to click share here and I'm going to copy this URL. This is the specific URL for this tutorial. So let's go back to Facebook and in the website link here, I'm going to paste in that URL. And now you can see swipe to load at the bottom written here, swipe to load. So people will swipe up. So they'll look at all of this content and they'll swipe up and it will take them directly to this tutorial right here which is pretty cool, right? But remember, this only works on mobile devices. I assume it works on tablets as well, but on the desktop browser, on the desktop version, it won't show for whatever reason, Facebook decided not to, to, to show this on desktop computers. I'm not sure why, but that's just the way it is. So there's one other option up here. You can click on settings and in settings, you can set it to dark theme. So you can have it dark down here. You can set it to a light theme. Uh, there's this swipe to open link. So you can turn that off or you can leave it on. Right, so you can leave it on. I prefer to leave it on, and um, you can do custom color here as well. So, if you want to pick a specific color like red, maybe to match your brand or your design, we could probably do something maybe like a, a sort of a green color might work well, like something like this. I think that's cool. Let's click close. Let's click on this save button here, and now it's saved, and we can click on finish. <coughs> So when we click on finish, it says, finish this experience, uh, instance experience. Your instance experience is ready to be added to a page post or to an ad campaign when it's finished. Finish instant experiences cannot be edited. So once you've done this, you need to make sure it's good because you can't come back and edit it. It is like a one-off sort of thing, right? But you can reuse it many times afterwards. <clears throat> so I'm gonna click the finish button. I'm happy with this. And then it takes you back to here, which seems a bit weird and you're not quite sure what's going on. So what you need to do is um, click on this um, section here. Let's see. Um, how did I do this? Let's click on this close button here, close for the moment. And I'm going to click back on this instance experience. And I believe, let's see, Blender. If, if I click um, here and then click on this actual instance here, cinematic text and particles, Let's click this. Here we go. Here we go. So when you click on it, it takes a little bit of time. You need to click on here, then click here. And it says fetching preview. It takes a few seconds. And then you'll see the thumbnail here, right? And that's what's going to get displayed to the user. You can write some text in here. So maybe we'll write something like um, <coughs> Blender 2.8. So maybe write something like Blender 2.8 cinematic text and particles tutorial, something like this. And then maybe people will click on that and more incl inclined to click on it if they can read what it's about. Where it says Facebook here, if you click here, you can click on there and then you can put like your website address here, maybe like this. And then we'll go down and click share. So when we click this share button, um, you can see that it says uploading here. You have to wait a few seconds and then you'll see this here. Now on your desktop, only only the, the admin of the website can actually see this. When people come along to see your desktop website, your, your desktop page for Facebook, you won't actually see this. Um, other users won't actually see this. But if, if I click on it, it says only you can preview this post on your desktop. People who visit your page can only see this canvas on mobiles. So now this is actually published and on my mobile phone, if I were to go and look at my Facebook page, I'll be able to see this post there, like this particular one. But only I can see it on the desktop, but anyone else can see it on, my mo on their mobile phones, if that makes sense. So that's how you go about using this, um, this option here is called the create an instant experience. Hopefully we should be able to see that working on a desktop because I think it's really interesting. It's quite a, a nice and interesting tool. A lot of people have been asking me on YouTube on how to do videos and photos in the same post and I haven't figured that out. I think Facebook has disabled it or have done something that you just can't do that anymore. Because you used to be able to have videos and images in the same post. But um, I've not figured out a way to do that. I've seen there's ways of putting loads of pictures together, 
but videos only seem to post one at a time but this is kind of a, a kind of a workaround but it only shows on mobile phones that's the only issue that i can see but it's still a good way to um you know promote your content it's a nice way to show content uh, to get some interaction i think it's quite different i don't really see a lot of people using this to be fair uh, when i'm looking on facebook i don't really see this being used very often so uh, definitely i think it's something you should look at and you can have more than these many blocks right i believe you can have more than this this many um, and i think it's a nice way for you to either promote your work or promote your products so go and experiment with this see what ideas you can come up with um, you can do these little scrollers here you can see that's working as a preview you've got another video here and then if I were to swipe up here on my mobile phone then you would see this would take me directly to this particular video okay let's go ahead and minimize this that's how you go about posting videos and images using Facebook instant experience I hope you find this tutorial useful and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial.